Hey everybody, it's Compel. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to go through as fast as I can. It's probably going to be a long video though. Uh, make a wallpaper that... That's, I use the same methods to make this wallpaper. Um, and the one I'm going to make today is not going to be nearly as epic as this one. Um, because I used images from Google to make this one and I can't do that. So I'm giving you images that I took um, to make a wallpaper on your own. Okay, so if you really want to make it epic, use images from Google. If you have nothing to use or you don't feel like you're good enough, not good enough, if you don't feel like you uh, know the pictures to use, go ahead and use my images because, you know, that's why they're there, or uh, at least to play around with and uh, why not add to your arsenal of images to use. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to open up Photoshop here and we're going to go to File, New, and use your resolution so you can use this awesome project that you're going to make soon enough. Um, as your wallpaper and uh, me personally I'm going to use 1280 by 720 just so it's not too big um, whatever but you you might want to you can use my size too right here uh, if you don't want to that's fine with me use your wallpaper size doesn't matter RGB colors are important here and also transparent that's what I like to use click OK so I, we have our transparent layer here and uh, yeah, let's go and get started and hopefully if you're a beginner you'll learn some stuff and if you're advanced then uh, maybe you'll see something new I, I don't know alright so <clears throat> here we go the first thing I like to do is set down my background my background based off of my background I can position my text um, position everything I like to do so let's go ahead and do that right now we're gonna go to file and we're gonna go to place so we can place an image I'm gonna go to my use textures folder that I'm gonna give you um, and I'm going to personally pick, I don't know, we can, we can, we can try this, uh, fan image or, let's try this one. I've never tried this one here, but, uh, we can make it bigger. Ugh, it looks all pixelated, but I'm going to stretch it out like that. Check mark and, uh, okay. So that is our background, but we're going to tune it so you can't really recognize it. Okay. I'm going to right click it and go to rasterize layer over here in my layers panel okay and um, now what we're going to do is go to filter uh, distort and we're going to spherize maybe some no not spherize just my bad filter distort polar coordinates that's what it was and let's see what this looks like uh, wow it looks weird hard polar ooh that looks pretty cool so I'm gonna click OK on that and look at that that's Pretty neat, huh? Look at that boat right there. That could be its own, uh, its own uh, tutorial there. Look at that. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Anyways, um, so <laughs> this looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work well for our tutorial today, but hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back some and copy this before, and then I'm gonna go and filter, and distort polar coordinates, and uh, okay. All right, so um, I, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna try something totally different here. Even though I don't want to do this because I like the way this middle part looks, I'm going to mask out all of this right here. Okay, and let's see how this goes. Okay, so it kind of looks like a portal right now. I'm going to distort this image down here. Filter. Uh, we'll do. Well, let's try pixelate. I wonder how this will look. I'm gonna do a crystallize or something. Or I'm not sure. Twenty-five percent. What would that look like? It's probably going to look like butt, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like the way that looks. Let me see blur, Gaussian blur. Whoa. I don't know if I'm liking the way this looks. Um, hmm. Well we'll just keep it like that for now okay and uh, if you don't like the way that looks go ahead and mess around with it I mean you'll probably do a better job than I alright so from here what I'm going to do is actually make a new layer and this is how me personally I like to make the round see how it's like a black background around this is what I like to do I like to get my brush tool and I like to get my brush fairly big okay and brush around and that's what I do That's too much. Um, whoops. 
Break my new layer. Where's my new layer? No. Wow, no. New layer. Okay. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and, uh. You know, make this dark like that. Cool. Right, we can even, you know, bring down the opacity if you don't like it or whatever. You no, know, it's not completely black. So we have our background. Background. Let's go ahead and, uh. Add our text. Make a new layer, of course, and make file, place, and I gave you this boom text. Okay, and I'm gonna click the check mark here. And actually, I should have resized it before, but I'm gonna bring it to the side a little bit. Okay, rotate it a bit and bring it down. I'll make it around, uh, make it around that big, maybe a little bigger. Okay, and check mark. So there we go. And then right click this layer and go to rasterize. Do this if you want to change the color of it. Once you've rasterized it, you can have it selected and go Control U and change the color of it to whatever you want. So check it out. You can have it, uh, you know, orange or red and green and blue and whatnot. So uh, you can change it to fit what you want. Okay, I'm gonna keep it right here as it was. And uh, yeah. So after we do this, we want to give our text some kind of texture. So I'm gonna make a new layer on top of this boom text. I'm going to name this texture, okay, and this is actually what, black, bg, blah, 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 okay, cool, and this texture, I'm going to go to file, place, and let's place, let's place these clouds here, let's go ahead and make it bigger than the text, okay, and these clouds, the layer style, I'm going to change it to overlay, okay, and I'm gonna click the check mark, and there we go. Now it's overlaying this text. It's actually overlaying the whole image, but uh, whatever. I'm gonna rotate it a bit. Okay, I'm looking at the text right now, how it's affecting the text, and I think I like that position right there. Okay, I like the way that that layer looks on top of that text. So I want to delete everything except what's on top of the text. So I'm going to hold Control and click the boom text thumbnail. Okay, so it selects that. Right there, selects you know the text, everything that's inside of this uh, text layer. Now I'm going to go select inverse or shift control I. Now it's selecting everything outside of that text, and make sure on the clouds layer, make sure it's raster rasterized, okay, um, the the clouds, and then control X. There we go. Now uh, we have a texture on top of our text, and it looks pretty cool. Now we can bring down the opacity of the clouds. Okay, uh, if you don't want it so harsh um, and stuff. Okay, so it's really up to you what you do here. Trust me. I mean, if you want it to look insane, then go for it. If you don't, then, well, it's up to you. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is actually outline our text with a glowing line. And to do that, I'm going to use a tablet and cheat a bit. Um, but I'm going to use the pen tool still. I just like the way uh, my my tablet works okay but anyway grab the pen tool and what you can actually do is make sure it's on these two right here paths and pen and whatnot and just click 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 go around all of those edges okay let me show you what I'm gonna do here I'm now using my um my tablet okay so just do this with your mouse okay click 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 see that I went around the letters click 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 Oop. go back control Z Click, click, click. Okay, so I'm just, you know, going around all of these curves here and whatnot. So it's it's actually really easy, the pen tool. I'm not pro with the pen tool, so, you know, I'm not very good with all the curves and doing it. So make sure you don't click and drag because you'll, unless you're pro, go for it. I mean, whatever. Don't forget the inside, the insides of the letters pretty important too. Uh, me personally, I don't like to go out here. I mean, if you want, go for it. It's your wallpaper, but I like to just do the front of the letters. Now, when I return, it should all be outlined, and uh, I'll see you then. All right, so, you know, hope if you've paused the video, whatever, um, I'm back, and all of my letters are outlined and whatnot, so if you're not done yet, you know, pause it and do your thing. I want to continue here. I'm going to go and uh, hit this arrow, the white selection tool. Okay. Um, what is it called? The direct selection tool. There we go. 
or the A key, and I'm going to select all of my paths. Okay, you can see um, how I kind of cheated and just went around like that and clicked a bunch of times around each of the curves. I mean, you can do that if you want. Go for it. Um, now the important part here is click the brush tool, right click, and bring your size down to I don't know what seven. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. Seven seems like a good size. Okay, seven hardness zero percent, and also your color. Take it to white. Okay, so now you know seven size brush, and it's uh, looks pretty cool. All right, you know what? Actually, the hardness. Let's see. Yeah, bring it up to. Bring the hardness up to a hundred percent. Okay. So it looks like this: hardness hundred percent, and the size of the brush is about seven, and then the color of it is white. All right. Go back to the direct selection tool or A. Um, now you're going to right click on these paths, go to stroke path, brush, make sure you click brush, do not simulate the pressure, uh, click OK. And there we go. You know what, that's kind of, that's pretty thick right there. So I'm going to bring the size of the brush down some, it's maybe around 5-ish. Try it again, stroke path. Alright, I'm liking the way that looks right there delete uh, so it deletes the path and there we go now we have our uh, our text okay um, to make it look cool what we're going to do is right click this you know these brushes here and go to blending options in the layer panel and we're gonna give this an outer glow and blend mode to normal opacity 100 and change the color of your laser as you would call it to anything you want Okay, so I'm probably going to do around here, this color right there, I like that turquoise color. Spread and size, that is what you want to change here. You can get so many different looks here. Totally up to you. I think that looks pretty cool. I have my spread to 13% and size to 7 pixels. Alright, and click OK. Great, so that is what our boom text looks like so far. Um. Yeah, I think it's look, it looks pretty good. I don't know, you may think different, it's up to you. Next thing we're, we're going to do is actually create all those crazy lines going everywhere um, in back and in front of the boom text. Okay, so I'm going to name this uh, text glow, and then I'm going to name this layer, this new layer, glow lines. Okay, now to do this, I'm going to use my tablet. Okay, now here um, I'm going to use my tablet, like I said. Okay, and what my tablet allows me to do is, you know, change the, uh, you know, depending on the pressure, um, it changes the look of the line. And to do something like that, um, the closest you can do is actually, let's see, I'm going to do this with the mouse right here. You can get the pen tool, you know, create some crazy freaking lines, and then right click, stroke path, and simulate the pressure. And then you see you can get kind of like thick and then thin and and whatnot. That's what, that's what the brush would look like. Okay, um, so that's kind of like what I'm doing here. Um, but me, I'm just gonna use my tablet since uh, I have it right now with me. Um, yeah, make sure we are on that lines glow or glow lines layer, whatever you called it before. Okay, and all I'm gonna do here is just kind of go crazy with. Uh, with my uh, tablet, okay, so just gonna go like this a little bit, okay, just do some crazy lines, and there we go, we'll see how that looks. Um, I'm gonna bring those lines below the text, okay, and then I'm going to copy the text glow layer style, okay, so see the text glow, it's those lines right there, right click it and go to copy layer style, glow lines, paste. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay. Um, what I think I'm going to do is actually edit the way these look, make it look a little bit different. Okay. I'm gonna get maybe like that looks better, so it doesn't look exactly like the letter ones. And you can see, you know, I have a pretty cool looking wallpaper right there. Um, let's see these black right here. I change that to where it's like that. Okay. 
So we want to bring it up. All right. So I, I, you know, that black around thing that we did in the beginning. I put it to the top. Okay. So it affects everything. And that's pretty much what I did uh, with this whole thing here. Um, let me see. Actually, you know those glow lines that we just added. Bring that on top of the text and everything. And I remember what I did is I masked them out. So I'm going to go around with my mask uh, brush here with the color black. So we can delete these lines there. Okay. I'm just going to go in. And this can actually be pretty tedious. Delete everything that's on those letters. Everything that's on the letters. Okay. This might be a long part of the tutorial. But uh, then I'm going to hit X to change these colors over here, you know, to white. And then, you know, bring it to the edge of all the letters again. Oops. Okay. And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to bring um, some of the lines over the text so it looks like it's going over and some are going to be under. It's the magic of Photoshop really. See, I'm just like chopping them off. Okay. And then uh, maybe we'll get like uh, a few of the lines to go over. That's probably too much. I don't want it to be, you know, way crazy. So we'll bring it back and so you follow just like one of these lines. That and we'll follow. Um, this line to up there. Delete. Oops. We'll delete this one right here. Yeah, this is the tedious part, but I mean, it, it makes it look pretty cool if you take the time to do it. But all I'm doing is, you know, letting some lines go over. I'm just going to add those two, but, you know, you just follow it around like I did. And, you know, some of the lines going over, and it looks pretty cool. So there we go. That's the wallpaper that I'm going to uh, show you today. Um, this video was very long, and I can keep adding more and more, you know, just keep doing my thing. But uh, I think I'm going to stop here so the video's not too long. It's already hitting 20 minutes. So, um, from here what you do is just, you know, file, uh, save as, we'll save it as a PNG, and we'll name this a uh, cool wallpaper, and we'll save, and none, okay. And now, you can go ahead and uh, show this off to your friends on Twitter and whatnot and say, hey, check out the graphic I made. You can right click it and set it as your desktop background, of course my screen is huge the resolution so it doesn't look good at all. I have it tiled too so um, but there you go you know your wallpaper would actually look pretty cool not gonna lie I like the way this graphic kinda came out um, I was kinda doubting this back piece but I think it turned out alright so thank you for watching this video please thumbs up comment and subscribe again I sorry it took so long um, but that is the methods I took to make this uh, wallpaper um, the other one I showed you um, the other one I showed you so uh, there you go. Um, if you're wondering how I made that text, I made it in 3D, 3D Studio Max using uh, some crazy rendering stuff. If you want to learn how to make that text, just let me know. Um, I might do a tutorial on it. So yeah, if, if a lot of people ask, I'll do it. It's really, really, really simple. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Bye.